Hello, what's up guys? My name is Alex Gomez and on today's video I want to share with you my process of creating this Pokemon character called Chikorita. It's a very basic character, very simple, that you guys can follow along. If you want the normal speed video, you can find it in my R station. I'm gonna leave uh, the link below down in the description. And for more videos like that, character sculpting, modeling, 3D art tips and techniques, just subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I release a video every week. Let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with a polysphere, it's just a primitive. And um, we're gonna do like a three spheres just to make the main body. And after that, we're gonna use the insert mesh tools that I get from um, Chain Olson's brushes, which are free. You can check out his uh, website and download them from his character uh, workshop. And this is what we get, we do like um, the legs and then mask and move the, the mouth in the back, to the back, sorry. Then we kind of like outline the, um, the eyes and after outline the eyes, uh, we're just going to max them and move them inside. And also we're going to start creating kind of like the upper lip. So this is a really, really basic character. It uh, didn't take that long, it just took like an hour just to do it with the poly paint. And I really recommend you guys, if you want to download the video, a really small price is the full process of this sculpting that you can follow with. And um, also if you have any questions on how I created the character, just let me know. So sometimes it's very, it's a good exercise to do a really simple character. Sometimes the most complicated things to do are kind of like a, are the most time consuming, but the easier and the better they will look because of the complicated part, not the complicated parts because they have so many stuff. If you, for example, if you have a wall and you want to paint it, uh, different colors and uh, add a lot of colors kind of like it will look nice if you actually uh, combine those colors in a nice uh, color palette but like uh, if you have like a white canvas and then you're gonna draw something really really simple it's harder to do to look nicer the more details and the more stuff you you have in a model it kind of like it's gonna look way nicer than a very simple model so this is a really good exercise to do like to have um, a character like that simple and, and do it so for the eyes and the spikes around the neck i just used uh, uh, different sub tools like primitives everything is primitives the spheres cones and and spheres for uh, for the uh, tongue as well so for poly painting i just use the poly painting but uh, i kind of like a uh, like to do the basic paint like the, just just the base color of it uh, sometimes i add like kind of like some shading kind of like uh, some occlusion underneath like the armpits or around the mouth or and a little bit of highlights like in the head or in the front of the face but uh, just to have that uh, base color but then I, I i move actually to substance painter and i do my my whole texturing process there I think it's easier for me it's uh, as you can see there my <laughs> my zeros crash and I have to to restart doing the the leaf but anyways so I jump to substance painter and what I like about substance painter is that the the workflow is very un, uh, undestructive so you all base everything with layers and masks and uh, you can paint the mask black and white and, and reveal the color that is in the mask so it's, it's a really really good good software for texturing i totally recommend it if you guys have the chance to use it or try it um, and uh, yeah so so i normally do this like uh, the base colors just the base color just to have an idea how it's looking and uh, if you see guys like i do the the poly paint doesn't mean 
that I'm done with the model, I'm still modifying some stuff, I'm still moving stuff and uh, adding a little bit more of details. I'm never kind of like a happy, oh, this is the way it goes. So I always move the model around and I see what is working and what is not working. As I notice here with my model, I kind of like a, do it a little bit taller than the actual design. I grab this design like online, I actually don't know who owns it or if just like a standard Pokemon character like that or anyways if you guys know just uh, let me know so I can give uh, the credits to it. Um, yeah like for the bow tie, for the bow tie it's almost the same just see like I just did a sphere, modify the sphere and uh, mask, pull pinch and dynamesh and, and get the shape that I want to do and it's, it's, it's always the same process it's always uh, uh, the same steps like you start with a with a piece of clay like a ball of clay or, or, or a ball of play-doh and, and you build the shape from it as long as you know the tools and that that's that's the simple thing is it's, it's not hard to do it and if you start adding like a more details more details more, more details to it and, and practice those details and, and you start getting into more complicated characters you're gonna see that your sculpts are gonna look much better but it's good to have those exercise with these simple uh, sculpts and as you can see so i have done like cones spheres and now i have done like a cube so with the cube, I just kind of like a dynamesh it. Like I kind of like cut the I dynamesh and then I cut the mask. I mask it and I cut it like in, uh, to have the shape of that bow tie, the lower ribbon of the bow tie. And then I do like a C plugin and mirror it. So there you go, we have our character and I hope that you guys enjoy it. So let's uh, save it and look some renders. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel don't forget to watch my other videos uh, creating uh, elizabeth olsen scarlet witch stylized and uh, black adam blocking out oh i forgot that one okay anyways i hope you guys have an amazing day please subscribe and keep creating keep sculpting and see you soon